Pathogenic Bacteria, Wikipedia Article Audio Pathogenic bacteria are bacteria that can cause disease. This article deals with human pathogenic bacteria. Although most bacteria are harmless or often beneficial, some are pathogenic, with the number of species estimated as fewer than 100 that are seen to cause infectious diseases in humans. By contrast, several thousand species exist in the human digestive system. Diseases Pathogenic Susceptibility Intracellular Infections in Specific Tissue Mechanisms of Damage Direct Toxin Production Indirect Survival in host Nutrients Identification Treatment List of genera and microscopy features List of species and clinical characteristics Genetic transformation Notes One of the bacterial diseases with the highest disease burden is tuberculosis caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which kills about 2 million people a year, mostly in sub-Saharan Africa. Pathogenic bacteria contribute to other globally important diseases, such as pneumonia, which can be caused by bacteria such as Streptococcus and Pseudomonas, and foodborne illnesses, which can be caused by bacteria such as Shigella, Campylobacter, and Salmonella. Pathogenic bacteria also cause infections such as tetanus, typhoid fever, diphtheria, syphilis, and leprosy. Pathogenic bacteria are also the cause of high infant mortality rates in developing countries. Cox postulates are the standard to establish a causative relationship between a microbe and a disease. Each species has specific effect and causes symptoms in people who are infected. Some, if not most people who are infected with a pathogenic bacteria do not have symptoms. Immunocompromised individuals are more susceptible to pathogenic bacteria. Some pathogenic bacteria cause disease under certain conditions, such as entry through the skin via a cut, through sexual activity or through a compromised immune function. Streptococcus and Staphylococcus are part of the normal skin microbiota and typically reside on healthy skin or in the nasopharyngeal region. Yet these species can potentially initiate skin infections. They are also able to cause sepsis, pneumonia, or meningitis. These infections can become quite serious creating a systemic inflammatory response resulting in massive vasodilation, shock, and death. Other bacteria are opportunistic pathogens and cause disease mainly in people suffering from immunosuppression or cystic fibrosis. Examples of these opportunistic pathogens include Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Burkholderia sinicipatia, and Mycobacterium avium. Obligate intracellular parasites have the ability to only grow and replicate inside other cells. Even these intracellular infections may be asymptomatic, requiring an incubation period. An example of this is rickettsia which causes typhus. Another causes Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Chlamydia is a phylum of intracellular parasites. These pathogens can cause pneumonia or urinary tract infection and may be involved in coronary heart disease. Other groups of intracellular bacterial pathogens include Salmonella, Neisseria, Brucella, Mycobacterium, Nocardia, Listeria, Francisella, Legionella, and Yersinia pestis. These can exist intracellularly, but can exist outside of host cells. Bacterial pathogens often cause infection in specific areas of the body. Others are generalists. 
the symptoms of disease appear as pathogenic bacteria damage host tissues or interfere with their function. The bacteria can damage host cells directly. They can also cause damage indirectly by provoking an immune response that inadvertently damages host cells. Once pathogens attach to host cells, they can cause direct damage as the pathogens use the host cell for nutrients and produce waste products. For example, Streptococcus mutans, a component of dental plaque, metabolizes dietary sugar and produces acid as a waste product. The acid decalcifies the tooth surface to cause dental caries. However, Toxins produced by bacteria cause most of the direct damage to host cells. Endotoxins are the lipid portions of lipopolysaccharides that are part of the outer membrane of the cell wall of gram-negative bacteria. Endotoxins are released when the bacteria lyses, which is why after antibiotic treatment, symptoms can worsen at first as the bacteria are killed and they release their endotoxins. Exotoxins are secreted into the surrounding medium or released when the bacteria die and the cell wall breaks apart. An excessive or inappropriate immune response triggered by an infection may damage host cells. Iron is required for humans, as well as the growth of most bacteria. To obtain free iron, some pathogens secrete proteins called sidrophores which take the iron away from iron transport proteins by binding to the iron even more tightly. Once the iron sidrophore complex is formed, it is taken up by sidrophore receptors on the bacterial surface and then that iron is brought into the bacterium. Typically identification is done by growing the organism in a wide range of cultures which can take up to 48 hours. The growth is then visually or genomically identified. The cultured organism is then subjected to various assays to observe reactions to help further identify species and strain. Bacterial infections may be treated with antibiotics, which are classified as bacteriocidal if they kill bacteria or bacteriostatic if they just prevent bacterial growth. There are many types of antibiotics and each class inhibits a process that is different in the pathogen from that found in the host. For example, the antibiotics chloramphenicol and tetracycline inhibit the bacterial ribosome but not the structurally different eukaryotic ribosome, so they exhibit selective toxicity. Antibiotics are used both in treating human disease and in intensive farming to promote animal growth. Both uses may be contributing to the rapid development of antibiotic resistance in bacterial populations. Phage therapy can also be used to treat certain bacterial infections. Infections can be prevented by antiseptic measures such as sterilizing the skin prior to piercing it with the needle of a syringe and by proper care of indwelling catheters. Surgical and dental instruments are also sterilized to prevent infection by bacteria. Disinfectants such as bleach are used to kill bacteria or other pathogens on surfaces to prevent contamination and further reduce the risk of infection. Bacteria in food are killed by cooking to temperatures above 73 degrees Celsius. Many genera contain pathogenic bacteria species. They often possess characteristics that help to classify and organize them into groups. The following is a partial listing. This is description of the more common genera and species presented with their clinical characteristics and treatments. Contact with cattle, sheep, goats, and horses, spores enter through inhalation or through abrasions. Anthrax, pulmonary, gastrointestinal, and slash or cutaneous symptoms. Penicillin, doxycycline, ciprofloxacin, raxabacumab. Anthrax vaccine, autoclaving of equipment.
Aspiration Prevention Contact with respiratory droplets expelled by infected human hosts Whooping cough, secondary bacterial pneumonia Pertussis vaccine, such as in DPT vaccine B. Garinii, B. Afzilii Ixodes hard ticks, reservoir in mice, other small mammals, and birds Bacterial vaginosis is caused by bacteria that change the vaginal microbiota caused by an overgrowth of bacteria that crowd out the lactobacilli species that maintain healthy vaginal microbial populations. Other nonbacterial vaginal infections include yeast infection, Trichomonas vaginalis. Bacterial meningitis is a bacterial inflammation of the meninges, that is, the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord, bacterial pneumonia is a bacterial infection of the lungs, urinary. Tract infection is predominantly caused by bacteria. Symptoms include the strong and frequent sensation or urge to urinate, pain during urination, and urine that is cloudy. The main causal agent is Escherichia coli. Urine is typically sterile but contains a variety of salts, and waste products. Bacteria can ascend into the bladder or kidney and causing cystitis and nephritis. Bacterial gastroenteritis is caused by enteric, pathogenic bacteria. These pathogenic species are usually distinct from the usually harmless bacteria of the normal gut flora but a different strain of the same species may be pathogenic. The distinction is sometimes difficult as in the case of Escherichia. Bacterial skin infections include, Impetigo is a highly contagious bacterial skin infection commonly seen in children. It is caused by Staphylococcus aureus, and Streptococcus pyogenes. Erysipelas is an acute streptococcus bacterial infection of the deeper skin layers that spreads via with lymphatic system. Cellulitis is a diffuse inflammation of connective tissue with severe inflammation of dermal and subcutaneous layers of the skin. Cellulitis can be caused by normal skin flora or by contagious contact, and usually occurs through open skin, cuts, blisters, cracks in the skin insect bites, animal bites, burns, surgical wounds, intravenous drug injection, or sites of intravenous catheter insertion. In most cases it is the skin on the face or lower legs that is affected, though cellulitis can occur in other tissues. Early localized, erythema migrans, early disseminated, neuroborreliosis, Lyme carditis, Late, Lyme arthritis, acrodermatitis chronica. Cotrimoxazole, fluoroquinolone, e.g. ciprofloxacin. Cephalosporin and gentamicin combination. Antibiotics above shortened duration, electrolyte and fluid replacement. Third generation cephalosporin, e.g., cefotaxime or ceftriaxone, ampicillin and sulbactam combination. Rodent control. Clofazamine. First two months, combination, isoniazid, rifampicin, pyrazinamide, ethambutol. Erythromycin and ceftriaxone. Lyme disease Doxycycline for adults, amoxicillin for children, ceftriaxone for neurological involvement Wearing clothing that limits skin exposure to ticks, insect repellent, avoid areas where ticks are found And others Better access to washing facilities, reduce crowding, pesticides B. canis, B. melitensis, B. suis. Direct contact with infected animal, oral, by ingestion of unpasteurized milk or milk products. 
brucellosis, mainly fever, muscular pain, and night sweats. Doxycycline, streptomycin, or gentamicin. Fecal oral from animals, uncooked meat, contaminated water. Treat symptoms, fluoroquinolone such as ciprofloxacin in severe cases. Good hygiene, avoiding contaminated water, pasteurizing milk and milk products, cooking meat. Respiratory droplets. Doxycycline, erythromycin. Vaginal sex, oral sex, anal sex vertical from mother to newborn, direct or contaminated surfaces and flies. Trachoma, neonatal conjunctivitis, neonatal pneumonia, nongonococcal urethritis, urethritis, pelvic inflammatory disease, epididymitis, prostatitis, lymphogranuloma venarium. Erythromycin, doxycycline. Erythromycin or silver nitrate in newborn SIs, safe sex, abstinence. Tetracycline, doxycycline, erythromycin. Botulism, mainly muscle weakness and paralysis. Antitoxin, penicillin, hyperbaric oxygen, mechanical ventilation. Proper food preservation techniques Gut flora, overgrowing when other flora is depleted Pseudomembranous colitis Discontinuing responsible antibiotic, vancomycin or metronidazole if severe Spores in soil, vaginal flora and gut flora Anaerobic cellulitis Gas gangrene acute food poisoning. Debridement or amputation, hyperbaric medicine, high doses of doxycycline or penicillin G and clindamycin, food poisoning, supportive care is sufficient. Spores in soil, skin penetration through wounds. Tetanus, muscle spasms. Tetanus immune globulin sedatives muscle relaxants, mechanical ventilation, penicillin or metronidazole. Tetanus vaccine. Respiratory droplets, part of human flora. Diphtheria, fever, sore throat and neck swelling, potentially narrowing airways. Horse serum mantotoxin, erythromycin, penicillin. DPT vaccine. E. chafensis. E. facium. Part of gut flora, opportunistic or entering through GI tract or urinary system wounds. Bacterial endocarditis, biliary tract infections, urinary tract infections. Ampicillin vancomycin. No vaccine hand washing and other nosocomial prevention. Meningitis. Diarrhea. Heating water. Prevention of exposure. Lepromatous form. Standard short course. Ophthalmia neonatorum. E.g. S. tifimurium. S. dysenterii. Of the 59 species listed in the table with their clinical characteristics, 11 species are known to be capable of natural genetic transformation. Natural transformation is a bacterial adaptation for transferring DNA from one cell to another. This process includes the uptake of exogenous DNA from a donor cell by a recipient cell and its incorporation into the recipient cell's genome by recombination. Transformation appears to be an adaptation for repairing damage in the recipient cell's DNA. Among pathogenic bacteria, transformation capability likely serves as an adaptation that facilitates survival and infectivity. 
the pathogenic bacteria able to carry out natural genetic transformation are Campylobacter jejuni, Enterococcus faecalis, Haemophilus influenza, Helicobacter pylori, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Legionella pneumophila, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Neisseria meningitides, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Vibrio cholerae.